Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So now in this tutorial, let's start working on our post activity. So go to the activity post.xml file and here first of all we need an image button. So here you can simply write image and drag and drop this image button. And the icon which we will be used, it is inside the drawable folder, okay, by the name select image, which is this one. Click OK and this is our image button and this is the icon. So you can see that this is basically the icon inside our drawable folder and this is the select image icon which we just add here. Now all we need is just to come here and from here you can simply write scale type. You can see that this is a scale type. So here we can say center crop and let's uh, give, uh, assign it i mean let's give it some width and some layout width and some layout height so the width will be rep match parent okay instead of that we can say match parent and the height for it will be 300 dp 300 dp so this is basically our i mean the image button where a user will, uh, when a user click on it then we will send the user to his mobile phone gallery and from there he will select an image i mean which he want to upload to this social networking website and share with his friends or anybody around the world now we need uh, basically uh, edit text i mean where a user will write a post description about this post so here we can simply uh, i mean we need a multi-line text so drag and drop this multi-line text here so click here okay so it will set to the match parent a layout width should be match parent and height should be have content and now we need a button so drag and drop this button here and now let's design this whole thing so the button text will be update post update post and let's add a hint for the edit text to so let right here quickly so this is the hint and we here we can say to the user that is write something about write something about your about your image here that's it so this is basically the post description you can say and let's click on this text and uh, all we need is to add a background here so we can add a background first so the background you know that it is by the name login inside the drivable folder you can see that okay and now we need to add a style to the edit text so so here we can say background android background and and the style is by the name inputs you can see that okay and the next thing is to add a style to our button so here we can say android background which is this one and it is by the name button you can see that okay and now let's go to the design and now here we can make the design more beautiful so let's come here and let's give it some padding so from all the side it should be 15 dp will be good okay so 15 dp will be this and the button will be from all side it should be 10 dp 10 dp is cool yeah that's it and and for the button the width will be 200 dp and let's uh, change the text design for this button so you can see right text and view fewer properties and from here we can change the text size to 18 and the text color will be white click ok and yeah that's great now the scale type for the image is not 
fit i mean this not looks good so here we can simply write i mean we have to choose a proper scale type for this image so we can say scale you can see that this scale type you can simply from here you can simply click on this fit center instead of crop center so click on this fit center and now it looks perfect and this is our image button so let's assign some layout from the top so from the top it should be 20 dp and then our edit text it should be 10 5 dp will be good 5 dp and then we have our button it should be 5 dp from the top so here we can say 5 sorry this is our button and from the top it should be 10 let's move it manually first because it is fixed at the bottom so now from here we can change this from the top to 10 dp so it is perfect now yeah that's great now let's uh, assign some ids to these so for the image we can say select underscore post underscore image select post image and then we have our post description so we can say post underscore description and then we have our update post button so we can assign it id update underscore post underscore button that's it and let's move this little bit above i mean the post description so instead of 5 dp we can say 1 dp 1 dp 1 dp is good and the button will be 5 dp from the top it's look perfect now and now we are going to go to the post activity and let's initialize this button and edit text and the image button so here we can say but uh, private image button and we can call it uh, select image or instead of that we can call it select post image that's it and then we have a simple button which is for the update post so we can call it update post button and then we have a uh, edit text for getting the post description for from the user so we can say private edit text and let's call it uh, post description that's it so these are our three fields which we initialized and now inside this on activity we can cast it so we can say first we have select post image so we can say select post image equals to image button find view by id or dot id dot select post image select post image then we have update post button so we can say update post button equals to button find view by id or dot id dot update post button and then we have post description so we can say post description equals to edit text find view by id or dot id dot post description that's it so the first thing is let me tell you first that is the user will click on this image button and then he will be gone to the to his mobile phone gallery from there he will select an image then he will write the post description and then he will click on the update post button so what we gonna do now that is first let allow the user to go to his mobile phone gallery so come here to the post activity and now we will first set a click listener on this select post image so here after this toolbar we can say select post image dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this we can simply call a method which we are going to make so we will create this 
method and let's call this method as open gallery so this is our method and let's create this method here on our post activity so you can see that our method is created successfully so inside this open gallery as you remembered we have already write this code uh, for our setup activity i mean to allow the user to go to his mobile phone gallery so for the time saving we will just copy that code from there and we will paste it here so go to the setup activity and here you can simply see this intent okay that is when we say profile image dot set on click listener you can see that inside this we have this intent gallery intent equal to new intent and then we set the action for it gallery intent dot set action gallery intent dot set type which will select the image and then this okay so i mean this line this bunch of code which is this bunch of code which is four lines so copy this control c copy this code from the setup activity now close this and now paste that code here that's it now all we need is to create this variable and okay so come here above on the post activity and here we can simply create that variable here so we can say private static int static final int this will be our final int and we can call it what is the name of this this is gallery pick equals to one and now you can simply copy this and you can simply paste that variable here which is this one okay which is already we wrote here okay so this is our gallery pick variable so now let's test our app if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now click let's click on this add post button and you can see that we are on the on the post activity and this is our back button which says update post and if we click on it it will uh, let us back to the main activity or you can say to the home uh, page or the home activity now let's click on this image button and you can see that it is working fine it redirect me to my mobile phone gallery so in this way uh, we have successfully added i mean we have uh, completed up to this post activity where a user can go to his mobile phone gallery so this is it for this video and in the next video when a user select uh, a post image from his mobile phone gallery then we will uh, ask for the description for that uh, photo for that image and once the user click on the update post button then uh, a user will uh, in this way a user will add a new post into i mean our this social networking app so yeah everything is working fine till now so this is it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel don't forget to press the bell icon and thumbs up for this video see you guys in the next video bye for now